So, uh, hi guys, I see Driftmad. Uh, just here today with a, a video about spraying your body. I uh, thought it would be helpful. And uh, yeah. So, I've already prepared my body. Uh, it comes with like a, a really big sheet around it. So, you're going to need to cut that out either with uh, a craft knife, some Lexan scissors, or an X Acto knife. Um, I used the Le uh, Lexan scissors because. It was like the easiest way to go and I got like the cleanest cut I could, I wouldn't really call it the best but you know I tried my best and it's, it's my first time so you always learn from your mistakes I think next time I'll buy an X-Acto knife because like every other video I've seen they've used them and they've got a pretty clean cut um, I've masked all the windows, uh, that was pretty easy you just need to make sure you've got rid of all the air bubbles in there because you don't want any bleeding once you've um, masked it, um, just make sure you've washed it as well. What you want to do is wash it just with like a sponge and some fairy liquid and then put your masking on after. And obviously you're going to need to cut it out before that. Um, mine came with light buckets. I actually ordered this car off Model Sport. And yeah, so I'm going to probably do a video on them as well. Uh, I don't know if I'll get round to it though. The lighting's not so good outside, so I'm gonna have to try and spray it as soon as I can. So yeah, uh, just make sure you've cut it out decently, um, washed it, then put your window masks on, and drill the holes as well. Just you can do that with a standard drill. Just make sure you uh, put it on top of your actual top of your actual body. I'll just show you. If you want to get your, get your car, I've got a HSP 5 ish. Oh, and by the way, I got some uh, uh, new cha shock tower in there. Yeah, well, nice. So I've got a hot body shock tower just purely because it's got more options and stuff on there rather than my old one. Yeah, what you want to do is put your body on there, like so, and then you just mark out with a sharpie. And make sure you've got it lined up with like the wheels. Um, it probably will come with instructions when you buy it depending whether it's second hand or not but yeah I wanted to burst um, do it myself because you know it's just more fun it's a bit more time consuming and stuff like that so yeah uh, make sure you've done that and then uh, next I'll get to a video of uh, spraying it oh and uh, mas masking it as well I'll do a video well it's going to be in the same video I'll just have to pause the camera obviously Right, okay guys, um, just finished masking the car. I'm sorry I couldn't do a video with it, but it is really tricky to film and um, do the masking at the same time. Plus it's just all these bits are the boring bits. Um, what The main video is it's just sort of tips. I wouldn't really call it an, a really full how to paint video, but um, I've tried my best uh, to film as much as I can. But it's just so hard trying to get everything in. Yeah, I've just masked it up with some um, insulation tape. Look, this stuff. Cheap, real cheap. You know, like 59p for this. So you can't really go wrong. And it works because I've sampled it on a, another piece of... Uh, like one of the cut-offs of the Lexan. Um, yeah, can't wait to start painting. Okay, guys, so... Uh, Managed to get some light out here, fortunately. Just open the uh, window. And yeah, let's crack on with this first coat then. <sighs> Hope to God it didn't go on the camera, but you know, it's quite windy out here. <clears throat> so just bear in mind you need to be in a, a, a well ventilated area because this stuff is really strong. So to get the paint going, you just need to hold it for a bit and shake it. You need to warm up to get it all the paint uh, mixed. Spray it that way a bit. Right, and you're good to go. Right, and that's all you need, guys, for your first coat. I mean, look at how thin that is. And this is the whole point. You don't want any bleeding, so it's best to do it thin coats. Okay, guys, so just finished the fourth and final coat. Um, all you need to do is just like four really thin coats like I showed before. Um, it's pretty simple. 
just make sure I keep it nice and even and just top it off with a fourth coat if you've got any gaps. Uh, to finish, to speed up the process you can use a, just like a hair dryer, it makes it a lot quicker <coughs> and uh, yeah. Um, I've had a tiny bit of bleeding where the if you can see that where the actual um, light mask was, um, but that's that's nothing to worry. I can uh, always just like scrape that off with a, a knife or something without damaging the body. Yeah, so masking tapes or the insulation tapes worked out pretty well, and I'm uh, really pleased with it. Um, I'm just gonna undo all the masking and then we'll start with the metallic blue backed by the silver. Right guys, so just finished uh, that, uh, taking off the masking. Um, uh, got pretty nice lines, I don't know if you've really seen dark, but yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, that insulation tape, didn't expect it to be that good. Just gonna go ahead and do the metallic blue now. Uh, first thin coat just like the black but we'll probably do more coats this and then we'll back uh, with the silver so just it's quite vibrant is this colour so just um Just you know, really light coat. That's all you need. Get the back there as well. I don't want to get the lights too much because, like I said, working. You know, the drier it is, the less it'll leak. Right, so that's gonna do for the first one. Right, guys, just finished the third coat of blue. Um, ready to back with silver now. And go out there and do a video of that. <coughs> but yeah, I'll just go out and back up the silver. Looks pretty nice so far. And uh, yeah. Right, how are you going, guys? Uh, it's starting to rain, so I'm really going to have to hurry up with this uh, silver backing. Yeah, let's crack on with it. I'm g I'll probably do another coat of the backing, but I just won't film it because I really have to hurry up. With the silver, it can be well, or will any backing, you can be a bit more firm because it don't really matter because you're just backing it, and especially with metallic colours like the blue. Oh shoot! Uh, with blue, you need to really get that gleam out of the paint so it's best to just be a bit firm with the silver I always find right so that should do for the first coat of silver I'll come back and uh, I'll show you taking the overspray film off and stuff like that. Just finished, <laughs> um, but it turns out I messed up a bit because the silver's um, come out a bit. I don't know if you can see it, but it's come through a bit too much. But um, but still, it looks pretty pretty good to say it's my first time. Um, got a tiny bit of bleed in there. Um, the bonnet looks really good as well. That masking tape, well, the uh, the insulation tape worked out pretty well. Right, guys, don't know if you're going to hear me over the dryer, but I've just started uh, pulling the protective film off, and it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm really surprised. I took off the window masks and stuff as well, and it just looks awesome. So I'm really happy about that. Just take the rest of this off. Uh, I've barely got any bleeding at all. Everything's turned out absolutely perfect for me.